Now, before I begin this video, please hear me out. I have already read Bleach and caught up with it three years ago. But since my memory is kind of, you know, sucky, I decided, hey, why don't I just go reread it and see what I like about it and see if I change anything on my criticism and my positivities about this series. And I gotta say, Bleach is much better than I remembered. Now, I personally think that the manga is better than the anime, but the anime is so good. That I definitely think you should watch it instead of the manga if you feel like it and you don't like reading. But now with that out of the way, we can get right into the video about Bleach. I think it's pretty funny. I knew what Bleach was, but I remembered little about it. So instead of actually going back and reading it or going back to, you know, fill my knowledge about Bleach, I read Chainsaw Man and other things like JJK and Tokyo Revengers. Now that I am less of a dunce, and now that I am 120 plus chapters into Bleach, I can confidently say that Bleach is something really special. Now I'm going to say this right now, out of all the beginnings from Naruto, One Piece, well I don't really read One Piece because I think it's mid. Somebody told a lie one day. That was a joke, I do not think One Piece is mid, but let's carry on. I think Bleach is beginning with Ichigo and how he meets Ruki and how he gets the Soul Reaper powers is completely amazing and phenomenal. Out of everything I read, I think Kubo's art is one of the best in Shonen Jump, and I may be wrong, I could be wrong, but from what I've read and from what I've seen, I think Kubo has one of the best art. Now, Bleach the Beginning is mainly to set up the next big arc, which is Soul Society. Now, the consequences of the last arc, which is the beginning, is Rukia giving Ichigo Soul Reaper powers. In the consequence of what Rukia did by giving Ichigo Soul Reaper powers, that means she has to go back to Soul Society and meet her trial in Soul Society. Now, the villain, well, the antagonist of the arc is Byaki Akuchiki. Now, even though Byaki Akuchiki is Rukia's older brother, it doesn't matter to him because he thinks holding up the law is absolute than family members that are going to be punished wrongfully. Now, I love how Kubo made the theme of going against the law from Rukia to Renji to Ichigo and to Uryu, Chad, and Orihime. Those people were the ones that were pushing this theme, mainly Ichigo. Now, Ichigo's point of view about the law and that he would go against it to save a blood relative, which is somebody of his family members, he completely changed Byakuya for the better and made him an even better developed character. And I already like Byakuya, he's already in my top five. And the fights are no snooze fest. These fights are amazing. And one, for example, is Mayuri versus Uryu, which again, this moment alone made Uryu one of my top seven favorite characters in Bleach. I loved his conviction. I loved the fact that he sacrificed his whole powers to go defeat Mayuri, but he had a chance to kill Mayuri, but he didn't. He didn't want to. And he could have did it, but because of his kind heart, he didn't want to do it. I do also like the variety of Zanpak Toes and Bankai because just hearing Bankai in English sub is got to be the most satisfying thing as a Bleach fan. I was watching English sub and when like one of the characters just say Bankai, anyone, it could be even Byakuya, him just saying Bankai and it sounds so satisfying. Can we please talk about the Air Force energy that is radiating off of Kenpachi? Pachi's the type of guy to pull up to a captain's meeting with a gun and just spray it just because he wanted to test it out. Well, what are you doing there, young whippersnapper Kenpachi? Sorry, buddy, I just need to test this thing out. I could honestly make a whole video on why Kenpachi is one of my favorite captains in this series, but again, I don't need to because that whole skit could have showed you everything that you need to know uh, how much I like Kenpachi. It's funny, when I read Soul Society beforehand, I thought this was the best fight and this is where Bleach peaked in the fights in Soul Society arc. But I was wrong. Kubo dropped bangers after bangers after banger fights. Even though some of them weren't on the Kenpachi versus Ichigo level, they were still amazing. And Bleach's side characters are also underrated. People like Uryu, Chad, Orihime, Renji, they are completely amazing. Mostly Uryu because I think he's one of the best out of the bunch of the side characters as of in the Soul Society arc. And I think introducing all the captains in the manner that Kubo did was completely amazing. I did love how he did it, showing off their strengths, but well, most of their strengths, because some of them aren't really used for fighting like Unahana. I think the way Kubo, like he was able to flesh out some of the captains, people like Sanji, people like Shunsui, people like Byakuya, he was able to flesh out in just this arc alone. And I like to talk about the inner demon trope very quickly, because I don't get tired of it. I actually like it and I'm a meathead for it. But this inner demon trope with Ichigo and his hollow, I like it. I like the way 
that they coincide. I like the way how Ichigo and his Hollow don't see eye to eye. I like this. I think this is probably one of the best inner demon tropes of Shonen Jump. I think that Ichigo covers it best. And when Ichigo's Hollow interferes in the fight with Byakuya, instead of, you know, being happy that he's basically being Byakuya, Ichigo does not accept this because he wants to win with his own strength instead of getting help by the Hollow. I already talked about the Byakuya fight. I think it was a perfect way to set up his development and him changing for the better. But let's talk about Aizen. Aizen played Soul Society like a damn fiddle. Now let's talk about things first off. First off, this guy faked his death. Now Momo being the simp that she is, goes on a wild goose chase to find out who killed Aizen, or quote unquote killed him, and she comes to the conclusion it's Hitsugaya, which again is Toshiro Ice Guy, and Aizen planned this out from the start. He planned it out. Now you always want to know what Aizen did just to repay Momo? Like I'll, I'll let you all find out in like three seconds. No response? Let me tell you what he did. He stabbed that bitch. And apparently Aizen didn't give a shit about the bonds he formed with people like Hitsugaya and the other people in the Gotai 13. Now he didn't care about that. He just told them, yeah, that wasn't the real Aizen. I'm just gonna kill y'all right now. And he kind of made a showing that this guy is going to be somebody to be reckoned with later on in the series. Like, this man is a boss. This man is a goat. And he really planned everything out. He was like five steps ahead of all of us. Like, when people were saying that Aizen really isn't all that, Bleach fans just keep on hyping him up. He's completely garbage. He's nothing really special. I, I just gotta tell y'all, what? Like, y'all were lying to me. This guy is completely special. He's someone to be reckoned with, and he's going to be a great villain, which I already know he's a great villain, just in my reread, but he's probably gonna be better than I expected, even with this reread. But at the end of the day, I am excited to read Bleach and enjoy my read through through it, because again, it's better than I remember. It's not what people are saying. It is not mid, it is not terrible. I don't even think it's worse than Naruto. I think it's better than Naruto, even with these 100 chapters, 100 plus chapters. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. The bell notification always stay notified whenever I upload. Also, if you guys want to see me do other types of content like Bleach, any other thing like my honest opinions about other series, I am willing to do that. But it has been the Red Cloak. I'm headed by you guys. Peace out. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe.